Welcome back to the new features video series for Cubase 7. In this chapter, we'll look at the new ASIO Guard technology. To better understand ASIO Guard, let's review the ASIO standard. ASIO stands for Audio Stream Input Output. It's a computer audio protocol specified by Steinberg that provides a low latency, high fidelity link between a software application and the audio interface. ASIO bypasses the normal audio path through intermediary layers of operating system to allow a direct link between application and sound card. The new ASIO Guard further optimizes audio engine performance, prevents dropouts, and helps you get optimum performance out of the latest operating systems. ASIO Guard pre-processes tracks, typically by four to five times the buffer size. Fewer than two ASIO Guard buffers has little effect, and more than 16 provides little extra benefit. It can only do this for plugins and virtual instruments, but that's enough to unburden the system. You can adjust this in the ASIO Guard buffer in the device setup menu. This is also where you can elect to turn ASIO Guard on and off. The advances in ASIO Guard demanded an update to the VST performance meters. The single bar in the transport pane is now color coded. Green indicates a stable system. Yellow turning into red means there's still headroom, but you're getting close to the limit. And red means the system is at maximum and the risk of dropouts increases. The floating VST performance window now has an additional bar, the real-time peak meter. This meter, shown in blue, shows the maximum values measured for real-time processing. In other words, the blue meter shows everything that cannot be calculated with ASIO Guard. If the blue bar reaches 100%, a dropout is almost certain. The far right-hand side of the meter acts as a clip light, illuminating red when 100% load is reached or exceeded. Now let's move on and take a close look at the remote control editor. 